So which are the main news you are presenting in this edition of PT? This year we're really excited. We're bringing in some, some new styles of boots. We've obviously had elastic side of boots for years and years and years, but now we're starting to look back at our old our old uh, patterns and designs from boots that we made back in the 1900s and we're reimagining them and remaking them as premium quality products. So that's for this year some of the first more premium fashion products that we've made for a long time. And we've also uh, created a special boot to celebrate turning 150. So we're calling that our anniversary boot. That's a limited edition and a limited amount will be sold in Italy uh, and once they're sold they're gone. How did 2019 go? Yeah, look, uh, our business is uh, and our brand is growing around the world very fast now. Uh, for example, over the last five years, we've doubled the size of our business. We think the next five will double again. We sold something like three million pairs of Blundstones last year. We estimate through about 10,000 retail stores and in about 75 markets around the world. So for a little brand from Tasmania, I think we're, um, we're becoming a global brand. Which are the main markets you are in? Uh, our biggest market outside of Australia is Canada, uh, followed by Israel, uh, followed by Italy. So, um, and they're also all the markets that we've been in uh, with distributors the longest. So we're, we, we have a very special long-term relationship with WP, who are our distributor here in Italy. That is nearly 25 years. Israel is 21, Canada is 25 years. So uh, that's partly why they're such big markets, but also the distributors have, have really understand our products and understand our brand and understand how to position that in the market. I mean, Blundstone's not an easy product to position in Italy, but WP have done an amazing job. So which are the goals and strategies for 2020? Yeah, I think uh, first and foremost to celebrate turning 150. Uh, we're still a 100% family owned business. Our headquarters are still in Tasmania, which if people don't know is in the middle of nowhere on an island. Uh, so we really want to make a big thing of this year. I think it's really special for us as a brand that we've not, not just survived, but we're actually growing more than ever after 150 years. I think uh, successfully landing some of the more fashion premium products, that's, that's quite new for Blundstone, so I think that's really important for us to work hard with our distributors to open up a new part of the market for, for Blundstone. I think the other thing is that we've, we are now aware that uh, women around the world, as many, probably more women are buying our products than men, and I think it would be fair to say that traditionally we've thought like a male brand. And uh, I think now for our designers, I oversee the design team. I think uh, for our branding team that I oversee, we, we all have to realize who a lot of our consumers are women and young women around the world. So I think we have to start thinking a lot more as a business about that. Mm -hmm.